You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, the gaslighting over at ESPN is real. And it continues. I told you there was a media effort, what, about 10 weeks ago? To lead you down the path of believing there was some kind of actual rookie of the year race. Now, race means there's at least two people and they're racing against each other towards a finish line in which one person's going to win and one person's going to lose. But it has not been a race for, I would argue, the entire season. But okay, for the sake of argument, at least the last six or seven weeks, we could put that whole. Angel Reese versus uh, Kalen Carter facade, farce, fraud. We could put that entire race behind us, right? Well, unless you are the ESPN, the worldwide leaders in woke, the DEI prophets of sports, they would lead you to believe that in their current Rookie of the Year and Rookie Rankings of the WNBA, they currently have, I shit you not, as we look through this, Angel Reese is ranked above Caitlin Clark in their latest rankings. I, I, I do not know how we get here. I do not know how we got here. I don't know how they got here. But this is absurd. ESPN has released its updated 2024 rookie rankings on Thursday. They had Chicago Sky rookie Angel Reese ranked number one on the list, while Indiana Fever rookie Kaitlyn Clark assumed the number two spot. What are we doing? My God, they give me a headache. Their reasoning for ranking Reese over Clark boiled down to advanced metrics. In other words, we had to pull out the most statistical gymnastics possible, Mary Lou Retton style, to come to this absurd ruling on a current rookie ranking. Reese's narrow edge in per, P-E-R, comes from her stat totals. Like her numerous double-doubles, she has 22, including a streak of 15, My God, we're still back on that double-doubles thing, which is tied for the third most in the WNBA season, just six off of Connecticut Suns' Alyssa Thomas record from last season, ESPN's Neil Payne wrote. And finally, Reese leads sizably over Clark in win win shares because of individual efficiency ratings, ratings. On just the possessions she is responsible for, Reese is up four net points per 100, while Clark is down seven per net point, down seven net points. There are clear limitations to that approach since it doesn't take into account usage rate. Clark leads Reese 26.5% to 22, but is a major component of the WS formula. I don't know what the WS formula is, And ESPN is literally trying to now manufacture new stats to come up with this. Look, bottom line, ESPN is getting destroyed right now. They're getting crushed over this. ESPN is a joke. I mean, they're gaslighting us. Look at that. I mean, for frick's sakes. Look at that. I mean, this is still the one that, 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 that makes me laugh the most. Caitlin Clark is averaging more blocks a game than Angel Reese, who's four inches taller. How in the hell does that happen? I mean, seriously. What are we what are we doing? It's not even close. I mean, betting look, the betting world has taken this betting the, the betting for the rookie of the year away now. Because they're about to lose their ass with all the bets coming in for Caitlin Clark. I just can't even believe it. Caitlin Clark, MVP. Laughing out loud. It's not close. Caitlin is far superior. Literally watch the games. Guys, Angel Reese is hard to watch. She's so uh, offensively inept on the court. It's embarrassing. I'm having secondary 
embarrassment watching Angel Reese keep trying to put up layups and miss them over and over and over again. The answer is Clark, and it's gaslighting to assume it's anyone else. Kalen Clark, MVP. That's the thing. People are starting to talk about Kalen Clark as MVP. Do I think she's going to win? No, it's probably Asia Wilson. Probably should be Asia Wilson. But Kalen has put herself in the top three conversation. I mean, wow. Kalen Clark is the only correct answer here. That's nuts. I mean, I, I, I'm a, it's absurd. Clickbait. ESPN is a drowning media company. They need relevance and social media interaction. CC is a clear number one. But if you put her there, nobody discusses it because it's blatantly obvious. In other words, y'all are just doing this shit for the, the, the damn hell of it. I mean, let's be real. And I'll give Rebecca Lobo credit. I mean, she's talking about, they're talking about Caitlin Clark and... But look at this question. Kaitlyn Clark, Angel Reese, both of them have been in the Rookie of the Year conversation. Can either one of them be in the MVP conversation? Why is Angel Reese's name being brought up in MVP consider? Are you kidding? The ball rolling with Basketball Hall of Famer Rebecca Lobo, who joins us this morning. All right, Rebecca, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, they've been in the Rookie of the Year conversation, but the question is, can either of them enter the MVP conversation? Well, both of these young women have had incredible rookie campaigns, that's for sure. And when you look at the MVP conversation, of course, Asia Wilson is the front runner there. She is just having a, a season like we've not seen before in terms of her scoring and rebounding combined. But when you look at these two rookies, I would not be shocked if we found Caitlin Clark in that conversation by the end of the year. Keep in mind that you vote for five players when you're voting for MVP. And so both Asia Wilson, Nafisa Collier, uh, Brianna Stewart, those will all be players who are in that top five. Could Caitlin find her way there? I think she can. Because of the impact she's had on winning, the impact she has had on that franchise, and the numbers that she's putting up in particular on the offensive end when you combine her scoring and assisting. Not be surprised if she enters the conversation. She won't win MVP this year, but not be, would not be surprised if she ends up in that top five in terms of... Okay. It wouldn't surprise her if she ends up in the top five. That's a very reasonable statement from Rebecca Lobo. People are clowning the fact that Angel Reese was even brought up here. I mean, are you kidding? Disney has orders from above to hate Clark. I think we know why. White and straight. It has to be a corporate directive. They probably get more views from Clark fans pushing back. It's beyond insulting at this point. I, I mean, what are we doing Reese not even mentioned before in the MVP race, and rightfully so. I mean, the Rookie of the Year conversation is a non-conversation. It's over, and it has been for weeks. I, I, I just don't get it. I, I really don't. I mean, there is such a, you know, there there's such a, this person says, I'm not even mad at Angel Reese anymore. It's not her fault. It's the media. Well, look, let's be honest. When she gets out there and she very publicly p plays a role, and we've watched that happen, okay, yeah, she knows she's in the conversation because of the media, and she's certainly playing to that. Let's not get confused. She is. Um, I mean, you can just see it with everything she does, her podcast, and this, and that, and the third. I mean, Angel Reese has taken advantage of this. I mean, seriously. I mean, I guess she should. I mean, if, if the media is going to have this agenda, I mean, what is she supposed to do? Turn it away, I guess? I don't know. But it's a non-starter. It's a non-conversation. ESPN, there's a reason why their ratings have been steadily declining for a decade. Because there's an obvious agenda. It's a DEI agenda. Make no mistake. I mean, Caitlin's white. She's straight. Oh, hell, she's ESPN's public enemy number one. And let's be real, this is blatant gaslighting. You are blowing all kinds of smoke up our ass trying to make a story out of a story that's not really there. It's unbelievable. It really is. 
This is why so many people don't watch ESPN anymore. I watch Pat McAfee, and I watch live sports. That's the end of it. And honestly, I watch Pat on YouTube. Now, I'm not watching their network. I'm not watching First Take. God, horrible take. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.